you can look at the past and feel that feeling of sadness or that feeling of nostalgia and like observe it and then move on you know what i mean like you don't have to linger in it you think a lot of people cause themselves sadness and they end up suffering in life when they are stuck in the past and when they can't get out of it and it's like at the end of the day you literally can like all you can do is be in the present you know what i'm saying those feelings of nostalgia and all these things they're gonna come up and that's beautiful and being present in it is a part of that whole journey too you know <laughs> to go to a farmer's market. We're gonna meet my sister and her son. I'm gonna finally see my nephew after like months. So I'm just getting dressed. I had like a really good morning. I did like my morning routine and stuff. Um, and I'm just getting dressed right now. So much stuff here. Look, let me show you from my travel bag, from traveling. I left a bunch of clothes here. It's like a bunch of products, like makeup stuff. Of course, this is my stuff from LA. I literally just got in. Um, I got in last night. I got in yesterday. And I was so, so tired because I hadn't slept for like over 24 hours. So I literally ended up falling asleep at like 7.30 last night. And then I woke up really early today. So I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like really, really re refreshed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick out an outfit. I'm so excited though. <laughs> what's good you guys it's a new day um i am headed now to go hang out with my dad and his girlfriend um we're literally just gonna go get lunch like a late lunch i don't really film my family too much just because i i don't know my family's like a bit older like my sisters are my sisters are way older than me my parents are like not they don't really understand social media fully i mean they do but like i just i feel bad filming my family because i have a platform and it's like they didn't sign up for this i feel like i've been doing this for long enough now where like they get it and i think that they're more open to being in my videos so i'm just kind of trying to get used to like putting them on camera but anyways that being said i'm gonna go ahead and head to lunch with them i just got ready i like threw on this like little outfit oh, i'm sweating i thought it was gonna be like cold out um i'm wearing my babe shirt which is hilarious because i'm literally about to go like where we're getting lunch is like in the middle of like not the middle of nowhere but it's like such a like country little part of texas <laughs> so my outfit doesn't really make any sense every time i walk in i feel the same in the shadows my ex used to call this place a sundown town y'all are funny <laughs> cheers bye house anymore what's good you guys today is tuesday i'm gonna turn on the ac so you guys can actually hear me sorry about the noise i didn't realize the ac was so loud i'm here at the grocery store i desperately need to get food what i can eat is like very very specific and like picky so it kind of makes it hard honestly i feel like since i've got here i've been hold on i'm gonna take out my gum because i feel like i can't properly talk to you guys when i have gum in my mouth I'm trying to become more professional on youtube um but i feel like since i got here on friday 
I have just been like non-stop go 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 which has been honestly really nice because I've been catching up with family and then on Sunday the past two days I've been very heads down in a campaign that I was trying to finish out so I'm finally now able to like catch my breath get myself together like now that most of my brand stuff done is done I can finally breathe and I haven't even had that much work this year like compared to other years just still that feeling of like you know you just want to be done and be able to really truly like do nothing for the rest of the year and just relax and not think too much about emails and all that good stuff so it just feels kind of good to be done with that um I have not been working out at all I have literally not been to the gym in like I want to say almost two weeks now so I really 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 want to spend this week getting myself back into the gym getting some food getting some groceries feeding myself properly like nutritious meals and not just snacking I've been doing a lot of snacking these past few days but I haven't really like ate like real food in a while so I want to get back on track with that and I thought I would take you guys along with me as I do that but before we get too deep in the vlog I do want to make sure to thank today's video sponsor sponsor which is Squarespace you guys know I absolutely love working with Squarespace space they i've worked with them for like two years now and i just absolutely swear by them i have a website with them myself where i still am selling my quit the nine to five ebook which i need to go and update at some point i want to like go and like refresh it but i'm like so proud of that ebook i just feel like i just i don't really release like courses and products and stuff but i feel like a lot of people were asking me for that one when i first quit my job and i just like really really went hard with it and i just love it so if you guys haven't checked it out yet be go be sure to go check it out i was able to create it and like really really get it out super quickly with the help of squarespace and if you guys have never heard of squarespace they're basically the one-stop shop for building an online presence so if you have a brand like a personal brand or even if you just make content or if you sell things whatever it may be Squarespace makes it super super easy to get set up with a website they have beautiful website templates that you can pick from they also have commerce tools so like setting up payment and all that stuff is just super 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 easy um, on Squarespace and they also have marketing tools and analytics which I really like because you guys know I'm a marketing major and I just really like being able to go in and see like you know how many visitors are clicking your website where are the visitors coming from from at one point when I was first launching the ebook I did like a, an email little campaign and I was able to get analytics from that they just, they just make it super super easy it's like literally everything all in one place so if you you know when you're making your plans for 2024 and like if you have different business ideas or whatever it may be I definitely recommend you guys check out Squarespace you guys can actually get a free trial with them and then once you do want to make a purchase or like sign up with their website um, you guys can use my link which is in the description it's the same link every single time so yeah thank you you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and just being an amazing sponsor to this channel and that being said I'm gonna run into the store I'm at HEB by the way if you guys are from Texas you guys know HEB um, I swear by AGB. I think it's so so good. They have like literally everything. It's reasonably priced It's not like these crazy Whole Foods, Air Wong, whatever it is at in LA. It's not that. I'm just talking shit. Honestly, LA was cool I really really liked LA But to me, it's just a little bit overhyped, you know And I don't think I even fully talked to you guys about like why I don't see myself living there But really like what it felt like to me is like a lot of people are actually moving from LA to Austin and I see why now because it's like LA to me feels like a more crowded more expensive and just more overhyped version of Austin to be completely honest and like a little bit like there's more to do there but it's like a little bit more like run down not run down but like it's just not built it's an old it's, it's a bigger city so it's like the roads it's crowded there's traffic the roads are like built just in a way the parking is just crazy I just I felt like if I wanted that vibe the vibe that LA was giving I feel like I could have gotten that same vibe in Austin but for cheaper you know what I mean like LA in terms of like the laid-back vibe there's just it's like weird because like there's I'm such a like person who like I love different things about different cities and so I feel like there's a there's a version of me that really really could have liked LA and loved LA and like wanted to stay but I feel like that version of me like doesn't really exist anymore or like I don't know I just feel like that's not the ver like that's just not like I don't know I just feel like that's not the version of me that I de that I identify with the most like LA is very much especially like as a, as a YouTuber like LA is very much focused on social media which I think is cool like you know if you want work opportunities and stuff but I think I've just started to realize that like that is not 
my main focus like going to brand events and being in the social media scene while i do want to have like opportunities and things like that for sure um i have other things that i'm interested in and i feel like new york or like other big cities there's a lot of other big cities so it may not be new york but i just feel like there's other cities that kind of have more things outside of social media that I find myself really interested in kind of like involving myself with. I don't know, I'm like seeing more and more of like what I want in 2024. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I'm just seeing more and more of like what I want in 2024. And I just feel like LA didn't really fit that. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go into H-E-B and then I really would like to work out today. Okay, actually, admittedly, I did go to the gym today and I literally stretched and I did one workout and I left. I was like, girl, it's today's not the day. Today's not the day or like if I do go today, I need to eat something like properly. Like I haven't like I had cereal and coffee, like decaf coffee for breakfast this morning. It's not real food like I, that used to hold me over back like maybe a year ago. But like I can't just eat that anymore and like feel energized to work out. And that's what I'm learning about myself is like I have to if I really want to go hard in the gym, I have to feed myself properly. So yeah, let's go get some groceries so we can like properly just be on our shit this week, you know? We gotta, we gotta really, like, I know the new year hasn't started yet, but we gotta, like, take the baby steps. And the baby steps for me, foundationally, is, again, food and just getting in the gym. It doesn't have to be the best workout ever, but, like, just getting in the gym consistently, you know? So, let's go get some food. <laughs> Nine, 2012, 2000, no, tw like tw 2014. I don't know how to explain it, but like there's like this like specific aesthetic that like I've been like obsessed with lately, and it's like back in the day when like the girls would have like half their hair, like half their head shaved, and they would wear like I can't even explain. It. It's like 2014 style. I've just been super super into it. I did not do my eyebrows because I'm about to go get them done. So I look a little, little bit crazy, but I just am really, really proud of myself for getting out the house, for getting cute, getting dressed. Like this is the kind of thing that like really makes me excited and happy about life. I still have the Olaplex in my hair. Um, that's like the only product that's in my hair right now. And I'm probably not gonna wash it out until tonight. <laughs> the way my hair is parted is just so funny to me. Um, but I'm gonna like rock with the style for today because I just feel like it's fun. So anyways, let's get going. Whoop, whoop. 
Okay, y'all, my brows are done. I don't love the way that they look. Actually, they're not that great at all. But you know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna live with it. We're gonna head to the mall now. We're gonna go to La Contera. I'm so excited. I've been listening to like old, like old YMCMB. The base growing by who they think is the best now. So game no scrimmage. I ain't playing with you. They went on to be chartered accounts or work with their parents. But they Ready, y'all remember this? <laughs> Ew, the Starbucks right there, and I'm like looking at people walk out. I'm like, don't, don't y'all know? Like, aren't y'all informed? Anyways, let's go to the mall. Yes, yes, I am Weezy, but I ain't asthmatic. We're at Macy's. I need to make a list of the things that I need. So I'm gonna try to not overshot, but we'll see. Also, I'm trying to have the courage to vlog in public, so let's hope that I can actually do it. It's just so awkward because literally I'm like, like nobody ever does it. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at them trees. Guys, look how cute. Stop, I'm really trying not to overshop, but I really want some Uggs, no lie. These are really cute too. Wait, I actually really like these. If they had these in black. You know what? No, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm really gonna try to stick with what I need today because Lord knows I could easily overshop. And also I have to fit stuff in my suitcase, so. Oh my God, these are so cute though. Look at these. Oh, these are Steve Madden. I have these actually. So these boots are so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna buy anything. Okay, so this is La Cantera. This used to be an ice cream store, actually. And this is my first ever job. I used to work here when I was like 15 years old. It's just so crazy and like nostalgic. There used to be like a um, hot topic right here. It's not here anymore. I also used to work right here. This used to be a great American cookie and it's gone. It's just so crazy how everything just changes. Like nothing is the same. Oh, actually the hot topic is still right there. I see it, just kidding. And this is a mango. This used to be a, um, I think this used to be like a limited two. It's so crazy. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go. I really need to go find Sephora and then I also need to go to Barnes and Noble, so I'm gonna do that. I kinda want Auntie Anne's pretzel, but also it's so crowded here and I'm getting stared at so bad, so I'm gonna stop vlogging. Okay, bye. Okay, we're at Sephora. You guys, everywhere is so crowded here. Sephora was so crowded, I didn't even vlog. But I wanna show y'all, this is the Forever 21 that I used to like literally hang out in all the time when I was younger. And then now we're going to Barnes & Noble. Dude, I really wanna find some books for my family. So I'm gonna go look in there and then, just look how cute. Oh my God, this whole mall is so cute. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really anti like overconsumption and consumerism right now, but I feel like being here does make me really want to shop. Watch me going out of the way when I should have went home. Only time of the day I get to spend on my own. I was tripping off. I used to sleep at your crib. I should drive out right where you live and pick you up on the way. We ain't spoken so long. Probably put me in the past. I can still get you wet and I can still make you laugh. You should call in the word if that ain't too much to ask. I can pour you up a drink and we can burn. Guys, 
I'm feeling so fucking nostalgic right now. It's actually like scary. Like I went into Hot Topic and I went to Spencer's where it's like, I used to go there with my friends in high school and we would literally just be at the mall fucking around for hours. Like that mall that we were at, we would literally just be there fucking around for hours. Like people watching, messing with people. Like life was just so fun. And I feel like the older that I've gotten, the like less life just feels fun just even doing something like going to the mall now it like it doesn't feel like this to me now but like at, you know at certain points it's like oh it's a chore like I have to go get stuff I have to go do this I have to go to the grocery store and it's like at what point did life become this like thing like I don't even know like and then I was like in Hot Topic and I just felt so happy. Like, I feel like my inner child was like, bro, this is like, and the thing is like, I wanted to buy things like when I was in there, like it was like, not even like, uh, like, oh, this is nostalgic. Like this is stuff that like I used to wear. It's like, there's shows and like artists and music, like TV shows, movies, like things that I saw in there. I'm like, I still love those things. And like, I don't know, it's just weird because I feel like there's like younger versions of myself that I still feel so connected to and it just feels weird to really really like look at how much time has passed in between like that version of myself and like this current version but it's like at the same time like that's still me you know what I mean it's like I have the memories which is amazing and beautiful and I'm really really grateful for but it's like I don't have the same things to like experience anymore unless like I really go and seek it out and then when you do it's like it's not the same and it's like I don't hang out with the same people anymore like it's weird realize like seeing how much you've changed shopping around just made me feel very reminiscent and like nostalgic over my old life but I think at the same time like I'm realizing like I feel really 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 happy and blessed that like I'm not doing the same things like I'm just so proud of how far I've come and it's a beautiful thing to grow and to evolve and to change and it can be sad yes you know because you can't get those memories back you can't like go back in time and be I can't go back and be a high schooler again and just fucking hang out in the mall all you know I could but I could I could go hang out in the mall all day but like you know you can't go back and like get those moments back but like to be able to say like hey I've evolved and changed and like I'm not the same person anymore is also really fucking cool too and I feel like I've all like I don't know I've always been someone who like well I feel like I've just always been like so on go mode that I've never usually been one to like look back on the past and be reminiscent and feel that feeling of sadness or whatever. I mean, I guess I have sometimes, but like not the way that I have more recent, but definitely more recently, it's just been a lot stronger. So anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. I just, life is so crazy. Life just changes. Life just comes at you quick, honestly. It's like beautiful, you know, when you really look at it and I don't know, I feel like the older I'm getting also like the more time feels like it's speeding up. It's like that's a little bit weird but again it's you can't like I feel like if you keep I feel like if you sit in it for too long that if you try to grasp onto the past too much you're gonna end up making yourself sad and it's like you can look at the past and feel that feeling of sadness or that feeling of nostalgia and like observe it and then move on you know what I mean like you don't have to linger in it you don't have to stay in it you don't have to like like people I think a lot of people cause themselves sadness and they end up suffering in life when they are stuck in the past and when they can't get out of it and it's like at the end of the day you literally can like all you can do is be in the present you know what I'm saying those feelings of nostalgia and all these things they're gonna come up and that's beautiful and being present in it is a part of that whole journey too you know so yeah anyways I'm just literally rambling as I make my way um <laughs> to my mom's house so I will talk to you guys a little bit later I have been knee deep 
balls deep in <laughs> sorry i knew what i was gonna say before i said it and then i like said it anyways and it wasn't funny i have just been so deep in work this week and i also have been really trying to get myself back in the gym i went two days in a row it's a big deal i'm not the best with filming workouts but i told myself in 2024 that i was going to work on that and i really really want to bring you guys with me some more for my workouts just because i don't know it's a really really big part of my life and it's a big part of what keeps me grounded i also feel like it's like my safe space so i feel like i don't know it's just hard for me to like film it i don't know why it's weird because I feel like it's such a big part of my life and I love the way it makes me feel. I always feel like I look cute when I go to the gym. It's not even like really about how I look. It's just, I think because content for me is always on my mind, the gym is like the one place that I just feel free of that and I just feel like the only thing that I'm focused on is like getting a good workout in and I just don't want to like corrupt that. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Um, this week i i'm definitely noticing that i've been i wanted to come here and just rest and chill and like finish my shows for the year binge watch tv but i'm finding it very very difficult to do that i'm finding that like i really my mind is like my mind is like almost like on a hundred and i'm constantly thinking about the future and the things i need to do to like secure the things that i want in the future so it's just really crazy because I feel like I made a video like literally saying not to like over plan, don't overthink. And I'm like trying to follow my own advice, but at the same time, like I'm fighting it and I'm just like having to figure out like where that balance is. I've just been like really just pondering this week. I've been doing a lot of like walks, um, like hikes. Like my mom lives like in a very nature area. So there's like lots of trails and it's so beautiful out here. So I've just like been going on walks. I've been trying to like slowly but surely like catch up with old friends who live in Texas and just like call them and like make plans. And I've just been, like I said, going to the gym. Um, it's only been a week since I've been here, by the way. So it really has not been that long. Um, I'm just really, really, really trying to force myself to like slow down and enjoy this season and I think when my sister gets into town which is like so I have one sister who lives in Texas my other sister they're twins the other one lives in Virginia they both have families they both have like children and so we don't get to see her that often and so I feel like when she comes here it's gonna really really feel like Christmas and I feel like that's when I'm really gonna like allow myself to just like relax probably just gonna like chill for the rest of the night I um it's like 11 p.m right now I went to the gym a little bit earlier and I took a shower and I ate some dinner and I've just been chilling with my mom. We like watched like this show. It was a really good show, by the way. I'm gonna leave the, na the name of it on the screen. It was really, really interesting. We watched the first episode. So I think we're gonna keep watching that. But back in my room now, which I don't think I even showed you guys, but this is my room. <laughs> my mom moved here a few years ago. So like, it's not like my childhood home or anything, but this is like my room that I stay in. So I still have my closet full of stuff that I need to organize, guys. It's a mess. I can't. But girl, my life. Once, once I have a home, things are gonna look so different. Don't say that you miss me. Just come get me.